bow our heads and pray together. Dear God, with great joy and thanksgiving, we are gathered here as your people to celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because of your great love for us, even while we were still sinners, you have already taken the initiative to send us the Savior, God himself, in the person of Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, even though you are the everlasting, almighty God, you willingly came to earth, taking the form of a vulnerable infant, living the life of a lowly carpenter, willingly taking upon himself all of our sins, taking upon yourself the punishment and suffering that we deserve in order to reconcile us to God. So we come during this season of Christmas to adore you, to praise you, to worship you, and thank you for being our Savior. What a joy it is for us to witness the public confession and the symbolized death and resurrection of our new sister, Bao Yuli, and new brother, Kai Ling Zhang, in their baptism. We pray for your guidance in their lives. May your love and your empowering of their lives be a witness to all that they now have, a new life in you. May their profession and testimony encourage us to obey your commission to us to make disciples of all people, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We pray for the future direction of our church. May we discern the will of God for CBCOC and see the direction that you want us to go as a church. Keep us united and unified in our spirit, giving up our personal agendas to build up this church in the manner that pleases you, whether in the area of church remodeling or seeking a new children minister or seeking a bilingual minister, or focusing on the theme for next year. Teach us, Lord, to develop a habit of evangelism in our personal lives and adopt a culture of evangelism in this church. Lord, we pray for the sick and the weak in our church. May you provide healing and comfort for many who are listed in our prayer sheet. For you are the great healer. We now ask for the strengthening and protection of our pastors. Pastor Tony Leong, Pastor Paul Young, Pastor Ryan Chung, and our ministers, Eugene Kim and Derek Meng. And also your protection and guidance for all our church leaders. We ask for unity of heart and spirit as we as a church remodel our church facilities and disciple one another to do the work of evangelism and missions. We ask that you move members to step into vacancies in the nursery, in brotherhood, Sunday school director, in church remodeling fundraising areas, and earnestly await your appointment and sending of a children's minister. We remember the missionaries you have sent forth from this church. They have encountered great challenges this, during this past year. So Lord, we ask for protection and guidance as they share the gospel in their mission fields. And going outside of the church, we continue to pray for this country. We pray that the right decisions be made in the high courts to protect the lives of the unborn. We continue to pray for relief from the devastating effect of the coronavirus on people, not just in this country, but throughout the world, and especially in the underdeveloped countries in the world. We pray for comfort for the families of victims of tornadoes in Kentucky. We pray for protection for those whose homes and businesses were destroyed, Lord. Guide them during this Christmas season to grow in their relationship with you despite their losses. Lord, please hear the individual prayers of those gathered here this morning who are being offered up to you at this time. May our offering of our singing, the reading of your word, the preaching from your word, the public confession of faith and the baptisms, the testimonies of the new believers, even our offering of our lives as living sacrifices to you, be acceptable to you this morning, 
Once again, we thank you for your great love in sending Jesus to us. So we pray in the precious name of our God and Savior, Jesus Christ.